Yes. One of the things I think we have to be careful of in cultural revitalization and language revitalization too is this idea that culture is something that's just a snapshot of the past and it's unchanging. Culture is dynamic, right? The fact that fiddle traditions can arrive and be adopted into language and in, into a, an environment, um, and that's a good thing, I think, right? That culture is dynamic enough to absorb that and to embrace it and create something new and create an entirely new Athabascan fiddling tradition. Right? Further, Fort Yukon was uh, founded by Hudson's Bay fur traders way right back in 1846-47. Russia, Alaska then, the Hudson Bay employees were from Orkney Islands. And uh, those Orkney people were fiddle players from way back. And when they worked with Hudson Bay people, they brought their fiddles with them. And then Fort Yukon, uh, they played for the native people there. And native people, Kuchin people, have been dancing since time immemorial. immemorial drumming and dancing, so they're naturally dancing with the rhythm. So when they heard that fiddle and uh, the dancing I went with it, they really just uh, really uh, made a good uh, diplomatic connection there. And uh, so uh, since that time, we, we adopted the fiddle, our way of life, and the dancing that went with it.